how to enable IP forwarding in Windows Server 2012 R2 computer using registry editor. So this is the our lab scenario. We have a two networks. One is 192.168.49.0 and the another one is 192.168.50.0. For this demonstration, I have a total three virtual machines. First one is our domain controller and the IP address of our domain controller is 192.168.49.5. We have a one client computer and the IP address of our client computer is 192.168.50.11. We have a one Windows Server 2012 R2 computer on which we want to configure IP forwarding and on that VM we have a two NIC. One Mad OK, the IP address on that NIC is 192.168.49.1 and Mad OK B the IP address on that NIC is 192.168.50.1. So first of all, let's check IP configuration on our virtual machines. This is our domain controller and as you can see the IP address of our domain controller is uh, 192.168.49.5 and the default gateway is 192.168.49.1. If you check our network connectivity with our gateway, you can see we are receiving a replay from our gateway's IP address. Now let's move to our client computer. This is our client computer and if you run a command ipconfig, you can see the IP address of our client and that is 192.168.50.11. If we check network connectivity with our gateway, we are receiving replay from our gateway. But if we try to ping to our domain controller, we are not able to ping to our domain controller. The reason is pretty simple because the router is currently not forwarding IP packets. And this is the our Windows Server 2012 R2 computer and we have a two network interface card over here. Network A, the IP address is 192.168.49.1 and network B, the IP address on this interface is 192.168.50.1 and we want to enable IP forwarding on this server. So first of all, let's uh, open registry editor by running the command track edit on registry editor console expand edge local machine expand uh, system expand current control set expand services and then find the service name tcpip now expand tcpip and then expand parameters on parameters we have a one default settings name ip enable router let's right click on it and select modify now the default value is 0, let's change the value to 1 and then let's click on OK. And now let's close this console and let's restart the server once. After restart, let's again log into our server as an administrator. Now that we have the IP forwarding in a place. We can perform the same ping test and it will work just fine from our client to our domain controller. Let's move to our client computer and as you can see now our client computer is able to ping to our domain controller. If we run a reset command, reset and let's specify the IP address of our domain controller from our client computer, the first hope will be our client computer's gateway's IP address and that is 192.168.50.1. So this will be our first hope and this will be the our second hope. Okay, as you can see, the first hope is 192.168.50.1 and the second one is our domain controller's IP address. So in this way, we can use registry editor to enable IP forwarding in Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.